In selecting an issue, please focus on a social issue that you are passionate about addressing. This passion is what will fuel your engagement beyond your initial gift. The reasons for your interest in a particular issue can be highly personal. Perhaps you have family members who were in the military who benefited from strong veteran services or health care. Or maybe you had an incredible mentoring experience when you were in junior high and you want to ensure that other students can benefit from the same type of counsel and companionship. Other reasons might govern your issue selection as well. Perhaps you want to give to a specific community or country where your dollars will have what you feel is greater purchasing power and thus potentially greater leverage. Perhaps you feel that environmental issues are chronically underfunded relative to other causes and you want to help be one of the people who closes that funding gap. Whatever your reasons, though, keep in mind that this process is about balancing your personal interest with a clear public need. It is the marriage of reflection and strategy that will guide you on your giving journey, so let's get started right now. First, let's discuss what a social issue entails and why focusing on just one highly specified area can actually enhance the impact of your philanthropy. You might begin by identifying a broad issue that describes a subset of social problems and goals. There is no pre-agreed upon list of issue areas, but you will often hear people reference these broad across the globe problems to tackle, such as the environment or education or international development, healthcare, arts and culture, just to name a very few out of the countless social issues that need our resources. As you can see by just these few examples, an issue area is generally quite broad. However, there are many reasons why it can be helpful to choose an issue area to help you focus your philanthropic actions. First, concentrating on a specific issue allows you to focus your research process and to build expertise. For example, if you choose education as your issue, you can learn about the education system's pressing needs and the root causes of those needs by researching online, talking to experts, thought leaders, educators, meeting with organizations in your community, members of the school board, local community college lecturers, this knowledge is what will then allow you to better understand the types of giving organizations and strategies that you believe will be the most valuable. Second, as you continue in your research and nonprofit assessment process, you will compare organizations across a number of different characteristics. It is much easier to compare organizations that are working within a given issue area, which is, of course, the apples to apples argument. Third, as you strive to address an issue that you are personally passionate about, you will likely be driven to spend more time and more energy in your philanthropy than merely clicking the Donate Now button or writing a check. Plus, everything you do and every ounce of knowledge that you glean builds on itself and enables you ultimately to have a greater impact in a specific field over time. So how do you select a social issue? It's important to first reflect on your personal values, motivations, and passions for giving. 
While selecting a social issue can be deeply personal, I have found the following questions useful in beginning to understand where it is you want to focus your philanthropic energies. Are there certain people or a target population that you want to help? This question may inform geographic constraints, such as supporting people within the community where you or your relatives live or work. Perhaps you want to focus on a certain demographic, like pre-K or the elderly. When you hear of local, national, and world events, what moves you? What troubles you the most and why? Do these reactions stem from a professional concern, an intellectual interest, an emotional response, or a personal connection? Finally, looking at the heart and mind connection, is there a particular sweet spot where your personal passions intersect with society's most pressing needs?